Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Faith Chat Friday. Today is Friday, August 30th, and I hope you've all had a great week and uh, are looking forward to a, to a good weekend. Uh, if you're in a region that uh, celebrates Labor Day, I hope you're looking forward to a nice Labor Day holiday as well. So, today's video is not going to be very heavy or very focused on on faith, really. I, I thought it would be good to just sort of look back and reflect a bit on what happened over the past week since I, I posted my first faith chat video and talk a bit about some of the response to that and some of the things that I think are going to be important going forward. So, first off, the response was overwhelming. I, I was really uh, just absolutely humbled and, and so impressed by the number of people that, first off, just, just came out to, to say thank you, to say, uh, this is great, you know, I've, got, I've gotten emails, I've gotten uh, plenty of comments, you can, you can see those in the, the video from last week, uh, and, and the number of, of video responses that were made, really excellent video responses. Uh, you know, there are guys and, and, and women who have really decided to put themselves out there to, to, to sort of step out of their comfort zone and, and step out of all of our comfort zones and say things that are very deeply personal to them. You know, in some cases talking about challenges that they've had in their past and how uh, God helped them overcome those challenges. Uh, in other cases, just, just talking about their faith, which is something that very often is, is a private, personal thing. And I am so grateful because watching these videos has, if nothing else, has greatly strengthened my own faith to let me know that I am not alone in what I believe, that, that others share this, and that they share it in, a, in an open and accepting way so that, you know, I'm not the Roman Catholic over in the corner while everybody else is having a big old time being an evangelical Christian. We're all in this together, and, and I really appreciate that. So if, if nothing else, if, if nothing else ever happens again, I think that was, for me, a personal uh, success that I, that I really appreciate and, and has helped me tremendously. Now, I want to make a really important point about that. You know, a lot of people have thanked me for starting this and all that kind of stuff. Well, I appreciate that. It, it's, it, I'm, I'm grateful for your thanks. Uh, but at the same time, I want to make sure you understand that I don't really feel responsible for this. I, I, I don't know exactly why I wanted to do this. I mean, I told you that the, that, that St. Benedict Medal lighter is a big part of it. I wanted to be able to talk about that, and I thought, well, I need to do something beforehand. But the truth is, I really didn't know where this was going or what it was going to be, and I still don't. Um, and I prayed a lot about it and decided to just do it. And honestly, this is not any accomplishment of mine. This is you know, an accomplishment of God, working through all of us. So, uh, I, while I appreciate the things, I would like to, to, to pass those on to God and, uh, and, and just say praise Him for what He's done. Um, so, the, the overwhelming response has been positive. You know, I've gotten, uh, you know, if you look at comments, if you look at um, the VRs, or if you look at the thumbs up to thumbs down ratio. But I will say that I'm proud that that video last Friday got me more thumbs down than any other video I've ever made. And I say I'm proud about that because it, it means I'm, I'm, I, I hit a nerve, I guess. And I don't want to offend anyone, I don't want to chase anyone away, but at the same time, I don't care about the thumbs down. I, I never have. I've had videos in the past where I've touched a nerve, and since I've started doing the Friday Roadway Rambles, I've gotten a lot closer to touching nerves at times. <laughs> and and that's okay, because I'm just letting you know who I really am in, in those situations. And, uh, you know, I, I view the thumb... I don't know how to view thumbs down, because I don't know what's going through the mind of the thumbs downer when, when, when they do it. But, you know, from a practical point of view, YouTube doesn't care if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. They view them both as a sign of engagement. So when someone gives me a thumbs down in terms of the YouTube uh, algorithms and stuff, they're actually helping me. So that's great. Um, 
What I did find unfortunate, though, is that there were at least two, uh, may, maybe more than that, but there were at least two guys that made their first video in response to to my uh, video last Friday. And when I got around to seeing them, I saw that they had more thumbs down than thumbs up. And interestingly, it's the same number of thumbs down, and I looked into my own analytics, and there were cases where a spurt of thumbs down came in at you know very close to the same time from the same geographical location uh, you gotta wonder about the validity of that but I felt really bad about this because these guys as I said earlier they put themselves out there they really are stepping outside of their comfort zone and revealing themselves to us and the, the first reaction they get is somebody coming along and hitting that button and that that's unfortunate um, so I felt bad about that, and you know, it's funny how you get this overwhelmingly positive thing happening, and it gets completely colored by one or two people, uh, that are, that are negative. And I think it kind of speaks to the, the fact that there, there really is, and I'm not, I'm not pointing to anyone and saying that this about a person, but there is evil in the world. You know, there is a force in the world that is against us. And sometimes it works through people. Not that the person is evil, but sometimes their their mind is, is leaning in such a way that it's easy for them to do something that, you know, is maybe even out of character for them. Or maybe fully in character for them, you know, then that's fine too. But the closer we get to the truth, the stronger evil fights, the, the more the more force it puts out against us, and you know, I, honestly, I don't think these you know few thumbs down constitutes any effort at all on the on the part of evil. But it just shows you that there is there's always that balance in the world. And uh, so, guys, if you, if you felt bad about the thumbs down, don't view it as a as a badge of honor because what it means is that you're you're moving closer to the truth. And related to that, I have set up a playlist with all of the VRs that I found. Now, I asked, it doesn't matter, he, you could do whatever you want, but I, I, did, I did suggest we all put um, Faith Chat Friday as one word in the title. And about half of the, <laughs> the videos that I saw did that. Uh, and it's fine, it, it doesn't matter. I, I was still able to find a lot of them. A lot of them just did them as VRs to me. A few guys posted in the comments to that video that they had done the VR, so I was able to find them that way. Um, if you wouldn't mind looking at that playlist, if you've made a VR, if your VR is not on that playlist, let me know. Either leave me a comment or, or send me an email or something, because uh, I'd like to get them all together so that there's sort of one place that folks can go to, 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 to hear us talk about these things. Uh, and I'd like to do that going forward, so anytime you you know, you feel like a, uh, you're, you're doing a faith chat, let, let me know if you'd like to be added to the playlist, and I'd be happy to, to do that. I'll link the playlist below, and I'd like everyone to go and look at that playlist. If you haven't seen the videos, watch them. They're incredible. They, they, are, uh, they will build your faith. There, there's no question about it. They will make you stronger in your own faith, regardless of what your religious background is. But also, let's support these guys who have felt the, the call to put themselves out there and, and to really reveal a part of themselves that they usually would hold private and uh, just sort of open themselves up to the, to, to the world and that can at times be a bit cruel. So let's support them by uh, liking the video, giving it a thumbs up, uh, watching it, and uh, if you're not subscribed to them, subscribe, because I'm sure they're going to have a lot of good content going forward. So I'd ask everyone to please do that, uh, because I, I really do worry, especially about the guys that are just starting out, that uh, the negativity is going to overwhelm the positivity for them. Uh, so that's that's really about well I guess the one other thing I wanted to talk a little bit about was there was one comment I forget who said it but in one of the VRs someone said uh, you know we should be careful about the frequency of these sorts of talks well not this sort of talk because I'm just talking about logistics and such now I'm not 
you know, we should be, be careful about the frequency of this because we don't want to change the YTPC. Well, I've got a couple comments on that. I mean, first off, I fully agree with that last point. I didn't, I didn't think of this as a YTPC thing, to be honest with you. I just thought of it as something that I wanted to do. And, um, you know, I've often gotten the advice that you should do whatever you want with your channel. And I've given that advice many times. Now, I'm not turning my channel into nothing but Faith Chat, you know, but an occasional Faith Chat video, I think, is, is going to be something I do. Um, in terms of frequency, I don't know. I'm going to do it when I feel I have something worthwhile say, to say. And that might be once a month, that might be once a week. It's not going to be once a week all the time. <laughs> Uh, I think this two weeks in a row is a rarity, and the reason I did it is I really wanted to get some reflections out there on what happened during this past week. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm guessing maybe once or twice a month. For me, and, you know, maybe if I see someone else's video that I want to respond to, I might make a VR, so that might be a little more uh, frequent, but... This is not going to be the bulk of what I do. Uh, in fact, it's going to be a very small part of what I do. And I'm sure that's true of all of you, because uh, while our faith is a huge part of what we do every day, you know, the, the times that we get to share it are, are unfortunately not that common. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't see myself doing this all that frequently, but, you know, maybe maybe once a month, maybe, maybe twice a month, some months. But I want to make sure you all understand that I in no way feel like I'm running anything here or you know I I kicked something off but do what you want you know go, go on and, and uh, whatever whatever you're called to do please do it and uh, we'll, we'll just keep this rolling and uh, I don't know where God's taking us but we'll find out uh, but we'll find out together not not I won't find out and show you we, we will find out together uh, and and that's the bottom line. I'm not running anything. I don't want to be responsible for anything. I'll keep the playlist going. Uh, and again, if you guys want to be part of that, anytime you make a video, drop me a line and I'll, I'll gladly add you to it. But beyond that, this is this is not my show. This is his show. And uh, to any extent that we can all be responsible for it, then it will be uh, more to his glory. So with that, my friends, I'm going to sign off. Uh, I hope you all have a great weekend ahead, and until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. God bless you all.